knocking him out. He says the fight purse isn't all that interests him. Biggest ever for Joe Butler, and a lot of it probably shows in that waist measurement, doesn't it? 40 against 33 for Bruno. A bit more needle than I've ever seen him before. And I've followed now Butler for 20 years. Is he going to try and come out and do, as he did with Richard Dunn, a one-round stoppage? I would have thought. After the bell, a little bit of needle going in, as we thought. As we are close to the ring like this. Bugner is trying to put Bruno. Look, there's the head again. This is terrible. This is all the old man tricks coming out. He's trying everything he can to intimidate Bruno, but Frank's not having it. Nice and calm. He looked over at his corner there and nodded. Bruno is winning the battle of the jabs at the moment. I had a feeling that the jabs are going to be the most important punches in this fight. See, Bruno's jab is getting home. Bugner is not getting out of the way of these jabs. He's going to be in trouble if he can't find a way to avoid these jabs. Oh, it's a good swipe there by Bruno, that right hand punch. Just natural strength he's got, Bruno. He doesn't have to really. <laughs> oh, he's opening up well now, Bruno, right above our commentary position. He's never been in any serious trouble, you'll notice. Frank's never had him on the verge of any knockdowns or anything. It's been a good, steady, thumping jab performance from Frank. But there he goes again. It's a long time since Bruno has been asked to cope with a jab like that coming at him. If you look at his uh, opponents over there, you look. Yep, and he's down. He clubbed him with a right hand and he's, he won't go down, Bugner. At that point, he didn't even put the knees on the canvas. He tried to absorb the punches and that was a pretty brave effort of his, perhaps foolish. And he's getting seven, eight, nine. And he's going to let him box on. And he's pinned in Bruno's corner and it won't go surely now. The towel has come in from the Australian's corner and Butler doesn't know why at that point and he's, at least he's had the professional's pride, Jim, of staying on his feet. That I handed to him. He took a lot of stick there and I don't know whether it was his wife who made the corner many. Big Frank Bruno has finally come of age. A real professional performance from the first punch to the last punch. Big Frank did everything right, he did nothing wrong and at long last Britain as a heavyweight we can be proud of and we can, OK, we're not going to talk about beating Tyson, but at least we can be proud and put him in there and let him have his chance. Gentlemen, please! At the end of the eighth round, the referee has stopped the contest. Bugner was in no position to defend himself. Bruno was the winner. So officially the referee did stop it, he didn't have to accept a retirement.